The Courageous Feet. It's been more than an hour. She's going to set a new record. <laughs> an hour? I could do this all day. Well, you're good at sticking your nose up. How about this? That's amazing. Wow. <laughs> and I can go even wilder than that, too. Check this out. I've seen it a hundred times. Whoa, what is that? I thought I asked you to speed up, not run like your shoelaces are tied together. This thing still needs hatching. What is she carrying? Never mind that. Look what she's running from. <gasps> dragon! dragon! Hurry, hide! Behind my dragon-proof shield! Look, he's got three heads! I'll take the left head, and the other two. You all handle the tail. What if he breathes fire? Don't worry, I'm a fire extinguisher. Let's keep going. It's hero time! For Wondermont! We're coming, Dragon! Surrender! Surrender! Where is the dragon? And do not forget to memorize the behavioral features of the Leshy in the spring. And in the summer. So... Here come our star students, who shine so brightly they can't be seen in class. Please let us explain. We were attacked by a dragon. We tried to hide. I mean fight. And defeat him. Defeat a dragon? <laughs> we demolished him too. I hurled my boomerang. And I grabbed his tail. And I put out fire. He won't be coming here ever again. You drove away a dragon? You kids amaze me each and every day. We need to arrange a press conference for you with our best dragon experts. Now, go back to class and write everything that happened to you with as many details as you can remember. Hooray! Awesome dragon experts are coming! Like Firewing, the 39th! Or Martha the Dragon Weaver? They will teach us some cool dragon expert tricks. The Fluttering Master. Or, uh, <coughs> or the Heroic Capture. Oh, the Sneaky Invisible Princess. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what if we didn't actually scare him and he left on his own? <gasps> Go far. We have to tell Mr. Immortal the truth about what really happened. But then we won't get to meet the dragon experts. You know, I think he wants the ball. He was chasing it before. Stay where you are, and I will conduct a dragonology experiment. Rooney, come back. You'll be eaten. This is a terrible experiment. No way to know until we try. A dragon in our classroom? I doubt she was craving knowledge. This has never happened before. It's good that our young dragon experts were here and handled her for us. I must bring them to the Gathering of Heroes. Mm, that's great. Be proud, young heroes. What should we do about the dragon? She's never behaved like this before. Wait, she? Clearly something must have happened. Oh well, perhaps we shrink her to fit into a cage. Desperate times call for desperate measures. in a cage, but the dragon didn't do anything wrong. Stop! The dragon's good! Look, over there! Let's go, everyone. I wonder what the dragon's after. It must be something round, like our soccer ball is. Maybe a basketball? Oh, not a ball at all. Watch out! <gasps> of course, a dragon egg. That's what it's looking for. And that's why Mr. Immortal said she. It's a girl dragon. Hey, wait. Remember Baba Yaga? She was carrying something round, and it wasn't a ball. <gasps> and she told the hut to hatch it. It must be the, the dragon's egg. egg. Well, when will it hatch? My very own loyal watch dragon. One head to the north, one to the south, and the third head will be looking to the east. And the fourth is west, I think. Wait, there are only three heads. Am I the fourth head? Oh, what are you doing here? Oh, and now I only have one head. 
Make this dragon shrink in size, both height and width, and on all sides. Go! Kids? Why are you here? Please don't punish the dragon. She didn't attack us. We made it all up. She was looking for this. We're not really dragon experts. We couldn't even tell a girl from a boy. Hmm, well, I'm glad you learned your lesson. A hard one. But I'm proud of you for telling the truth. Admitting your mistakes takes courage, not unlike fighting a dragon. You were brave, but the one you should apologize to isn't me, is it? There, our dragon experts have learned a lesson about dragons. That dragons are actually very friendly once you get to know them. Reflections. <laughs> Rooney, not so fast. What about your bed? <sighs> Why bother making it? I'll sleep in it again tonight. Lisa, we're going to be late. Doria, come on. I can't go out looking like this. You have natural beauty, but you must work for knowledge. Wake up, sleepyhead. Oh, just one more minute. Class starts late today. Sleeping too much isn't good for you. Who made you in charge of sleeping? <laughs> She's right. Stop ordering us around. You bossy. Well, clearly, without me, you would all oversleep. Then you'd be late, and your grades would suffer. That's quite enough, girls. We're friends. Helen, you're letting them off easy. They'll never learn any discipline that way. How can we forget? You know what? I want a new classmate. One who isn't bossy. Someone nicer. Fine, then. Maybe I would be better off, too. <gasps> With other princesses. You're better off changing yourselves. I was only trying to help them improve. And yet this is how they treat me. <gasps> huh? What's this? Oh, a mirror. Oh! <laughs> Let me out of here immediately! <laughs> I cannot, because I didn't send you in there. Who did? Your friends. They wished for a new classmate to replace you. And awakened an ancient magic, and that's how I got here. <laughs> And soon I'll replace them with my own friends, like you asked. Lucky you! <gasps> Enough! I mustn't look in the mirror anymore. Time for us to catch your friends. Girls! I'm sorry for my horrible behavior. But I've changed. <gasps> I'll be the kind of friend you wanted. Huh? Let's have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, how clumsy. Don't worry, I'll get it. You're a mess. Look. Thank you so much. Look at this place. It's nothing like inside the mirror, but I feel too lazy to play. Rooney, are you alright? You look tired. I feel fine. I just want to relax. Look what Doria and I found outside. Oh, wow! You should wear it. Thank you! Look how nice it is. Ah! Now I can take this crown off. I simply can't stand all these shiny things. Girls! What's wrong? I had a horrible nightmare. It was like we were replaced. It was terrifying. It was only a dream. Look, see for yourself. <laughs> Hello, my friends. Let's go have fun. Shh. We can't play yet. We still have to replace Helen. Then we can do anything we want. Or we can even do nothing at all. Just don't look into the mirror, or we'll be switched back again. <gasps> well then, let's replace Helen. Hooray! It's hide and seek! My favorite! First to find Helen wins! To get the cows back, I have to get the imposters to look into the mirror again. There! Oh, Helen! 
Yoo-hoo! Where are you? We just want to play. Huh? Hmm. I know you're in there. <gasps> Rooney, you're back. Thank you for helping me out. What about the others? Do you have a plan? Huh. Thank you for getting me out of there. It wasn't comfortable in there. We've got the mirror. Now we just need to show it to the others. There she is. Oh, Lisa. Yes, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> I missed you. Thank you for saving me. We can't celebrate yet. Daria needs us. Where is she? She's getting away. Not yet. Toma, hold up the mirror. But where's Daria? We were the ones who wished for this. We wanted a different Daria. And it was our fault. What do we do now? Hey, you, Mira! Give Doria back! We only want our Doria! Give her back! Doria! Doria! You're back! You know, girls, I treasure you so very much. Thank you for saving me. I don't want any other classmates. I only <laughs> want you. <laughs> the Wondermont Boomerang. Flying rainbow move! One, two! Hey, hey, hey! One, two, three, four! Run! <gasps> did you see that? He did four full twists! Exactly! It helps you throw the boomerang harder. The Eldorado leap with a surprise. It's the best way to attack dragons, you know. Dragons? Of course. But you won't get kindness from dragons. Once a dragon attacked my home in El Dorado, we shot arrows at it and threw spears, and the thing still got back up. Then the great El Guerrero, our most superheroic superhero, put a spell on his shield. He flew up into the sky on it, and then just, like, hurled a boomerang. We know about El Guerrero in the Seven Kingdoms. We study his biography in high school. Someday, I'll perform the same kind of feat. If a dragon shows up, I mean. I think you could have just used an ordinary spell for flying lizards. But it's impressive, that's for sure. No one here can do that. Oh, oh yes, they can. I can do a better, even higher jump. Where do you see the trick I can do? Uh, wanna bet? Or is our El Guerrero too scared? Me scared, you say? Eldoradans don't know how to be scared. Keep it up! You're doing great! <laughs> Do one more round! <laughs> hmm, look at that leap, like a grasshopper. But I will be the best. Will you help me? Go find out everything. Why he jumps so well, how he lands, what secrets he has. Everything. Got it? <laughs> Bosco, step on it! That's already 2.5 dragon speed! Oh. Hmm. <gasps> Flight enhancer, of course! With this, it's easy to fly like a superhero! Where did the bottle go? It was right here. Well, Mr. Champion, you ready? <laughs> I can't wait to show everyone who the best jumper is. Fine, but I am not going to hold back. <laughs> 
I'm sorry, but me neither. Just remember, winning isn't everything. Of course it is. Victory is everything, especially mine. We're all ready. Then let's go. What's happening? Don't go against traffic. You must follow the traffic rules. Well, Professor, isn't it just wonderful to ride through the placid sky with a nice cup of hot tea? <laughs> yes, we don't often have days like this at Wondermont, when everything is so quiet and peaceful. And our pupils today are so calm. Smile, smile. And well behaved. They're growing up, you know. Oh, there's my bottle. Hey, you didn't use it on your disc, did you? So it's fine for you, but not the rest of us. I have every right to enhance my flight, too. <laughs> it really worked out for you, huh? This stuff is for the boomerang. So it flies further and comes back quicker. You see? Your disc is coming back now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Have some decency! I guess you... saved me. Now I owe you. <laughs> In that case, why don't you teach me how to do those spins you do? Like the ballerina and the cat's twist. Me? Teach you? Okay, and you can teach me your Eldorado leap with a surprise. No problem! That was amazing, that was really! So cool. Well done, Vasco! What a feat! I couldn't have done it better myself. Your attention, please. Rooney and Vasco present our awesome joint flying disc show. Bravo! It's a real show. So, what do you call your incredible maneuver? Uh, the Wondermont... Boomerang! That's a great title. I'm sure this maneuver is worth including in the Magical Aerial Acrobatics textbooks. <laughs> <laughs> the Gingerbread Man. A glowing pudding. That's wonderful. Ice cream that never melts. All your achievements make me very happy. I look forward to sharing these with Mr. Immortal when he returns. And you, Daria? Fortune cookies that tell the future. Ooh, I call dibs on those. <laughs> on this day, two friends you know will leave for Sweetland. What friends? I don't know. You predicted it. And I've... well, well, I've... here. I wanted to make a sweet dreams gingerbread man. The recipe is quite simple, but I fell asleep while making it. And then it burned every time I tried. Now I don't know what to do. Dorma, try again. You chose a very complicated recipe. Oh, I've tried it a hundred times, but I've still failed. Now I've got a new idea. Hey, don't listen in. Right, Daddy? Look, a self-filling tablecloth. It makes whatever you ask. But shh, don't tell anybody. That goes for you, too. Dreamy munch, gingerbread crunch, a lovely treat for a sleep that's sweet. Yes! My homework is finally done. Now everyone's going to love my little gingerbread man. Everyone's going to love me. It's so nice. So golden brown. <gasps> I get to try it first. Pleased uh -huh. to meet you. I'm the gingerbread man. You're going to love me. Uh, I'm Rooney. And 
But I think I need to sleep. Rooney! Sweet dreams. Rooney, Dorma, you must have put too much sleeping charm in the recipe. Let's be friends. You're going to love me. <sighs> we like you already. Oh, I'm dreaming about a unicorn. What are you doing? Wake them up again. <sighs> Didn't any of you sleep last night? Who can I make friends with now? Your gingerbread man is putting everyone to sleep. Where oh. are you going? Things aren't looking very good for me. Dorma, how did you bake that gingerbread man? I was scared that I'd never managed to make anything. So I used the self-filling tablecloth. But I think that something must have gone wrong. Maybe there's something I missed in the recipe. Did you read the instructions? No. Hello? Is anyone here? The top side of the tablecloth makes exactly what you ask it for. Here, take a look. Let me see. And the other side gives food magical properties. <gasps> I must have put the tablecloth the, the wrong, wrong way, way around. around. That's why your gingerbread man puts everyone to sleep just by touching them. And why he is alive. Whatever should we do? It's all here. It says to stop the magic. You just need to make the same recipe yourself. I'll never manage it. I keep falling asleep. Of course you will, Dolma. I'll help you. We'll bake the best gingerbread man ever. Where is everyone? Oh! Let's be friends. The recipe says we need some good night, Ginger. And a little calming clove. Got it! Oh. It's so good that I found you. The water. It'll help hold him back for a bit. I can't get my feet wet. I'm gingerbread. Let's go. Where are you going? Don't leave me alone. We've only got until the water dries up. Butter, flour, the spell. Nice. Honey, ginger, and clove. Did you turn down the heat? Uh-huh, I did. It's definitely got to work this time. This isn't going so well. All my friends have run off. Oh, I hope he doesn't see us. What can we do? It's time to get the gingerbread out. I've got a plan. Rock the chandelier. There you are. How did you get so high up? Do you want me to help you get down? <gasps> oh, gingerbread man, look! It's lovely to meet you. Let's be friends. It's so nice that you didn't fall asleep. <laughs> I'm so sorry that I cheated. I didn't know that this would happen. You need to be extremely careful with magical objects. But you've baked wonderful Sweet Dreams gingerbread men. Whatever shall we do with you? I've got an idea to help with that. Mr. Immortal! Girls, I've just returned from Sweetland and they will be delighted to welcome the new residents. Your gingerbread men will have plenty of friends to play with there. On this day, two friends you know will leave for Sweetland. The fortune cookies were right! <laughs> Flotation fever. It seems poor Dorma has caught a cold. See here? She's running a high fever. Will she be okay? She will be fine, Helen. It's only a fever. All she needs is some rest. However, it may affect Dorma's magical power. There is a possibility that her dreams could become real. Then let's monitor her. We'll take turns. And if something happens, we'll wake her. That way the dream will stop. All right, then. I'll go first. Thank you, Helen. Well then, let us go. Very good. Now, should you see anything strange, please gently wake Dorma. Rooney, it's 
your turn. Oh, it's such a nice day today. I wish it was raining. Then I wouldn't mind being stuck indoors so much. Huh, fine then. Oh dear. Don't worry, Doma. I'll go and get my ball fast as I can. And be right back, promise. <laughs> It's so hot here. Strange. Oh no, Teddy! You poor thing, you must be so hot. Hold on, I'll help you get out of there. Oh. Oh, thank goodness. I never knew that I could do such a thing, Teddy. The girls will certainly be surprised when I show them. Let's clear the floor before it burns. wanted to be here, but she stayed with Dorma instead. She's such a good friend. She's so loyal and trustworthy. What is she dreaming about? Dorma! Dorma, come back! <gasps> oh, no! Somewhere safe first, and then we can wake her. I have an idea. Good thinking, Helen. Be careful. Don't accidentally wake her. Helen, do you think you can help me up there? Maybe if I steer the bed, we can get it through the window. You've got it. Brilliant. Be careful. Okay? Quiet. <gasps> oh, oh no! <sighs> it's snowing. So nice and cool. Dorma, wake up! Wake up! Huh? <laughs> Dorma, you're awake! Oh. Helen, look out! <gasps> what happened here? Dorma's awake. Doma, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I was such a bad friend. I left you all alone. It's okay, Rooney. I was having such an amazing dream. I could move things through the air with my mind. Oh, I know. You moved all of our stuff outside. 
Did I really do that? You certainly did. And now Rooney is going to fix it by going outside and cleaning everything up. Oh, no! Good Deeds Thanks for helping me water the sleeping herb garden. Happy to provide a little rain. Thoma, you're a great gardener. Your herbs are actually glowing. Do all sleeping herbs have golden berries like this? They aren't berries. They're golden comet fragments. I read about them in a book by the great astronometer. Since you each found one, if each of you does a good deed for someone before sunset, your fragments will fly up into the sky and become golden stars. Golden stars? Are you serious? We are going to do such a huge good deed today. Then our fragments will be the brightest stars in the entire night sky. And they'll be called... Oh, Super Rooney. And the North Helen. We need the owl. She knows everything that goes on here. If someone needs a good deed, she'll be able to tell us. Help me! Oh! It's a disaster! It's horrible! All my unpredictable berry pies exploded! It turns out that unpredictable berries really don't like being baked! Oh, and I have so much to do today! Oh, what a disaster! Oh. Don't you worry, we'll help clean up! Rooney, this is our good deed! <sighs> Washing some dishes? I don't think it's enough of a good deed! Well, take a few more! No, that's not what I mean! To make our stars shine brighter than the others, we need to do something that isn't just helpful, but something grandiose. And this... We'll just finish this quickly. Okay, let's go. There must be some really important good deeds somewhere out there. Come on! Everything okay here? No one's gotten smaller. No one's stuck in a mirror, gingerbread acting weird. No. Is your tree solid? Magic all under control? The gauntlets have it run off? Uh-uh. Huh. <gasps> Rooney, look! Huh? <laughs> Emergency squirrel meeting! Do you think something's happened? Definitely! Someone's bewitched the forest! And we're going to save it! Which will be an international good deed! Show yourself, you nasty sneaky... <gasps> Nut? All that commotion was just about giant nuts? Those could feed all the squirrels in Wondermont. They're going to have quite the feast. That is, if we help them roll the nuts up that hill. Usually, every day is an adventure here, but today, it's just washing up and nut rolling. Talk about bad luck. <sighs> if we don't find a better good deed, people will need a telescope to see our stars. Even Baba Yaga isn't up to no good today. Or is she? Let's find out. I hope Baba Yaga is planting something beastly. The nastier and more unpleasant, the better. Bingo! Baba Yaga has put a spell on someone. Thank you, Grandma. Do you think it's Leshy? I hope so. I sense a great good deed awaits us. Let's rescue him. Follow me. Ugh. Look, that's it. The more stub in the bush, the brighter our stars. <laughs> Just a bit more. Nearly there. Ah! Oh. Uh. oh. Hello there. Where is Leshy? <laughs> what am I, his secretary? Only Leshy knows where Leshy is. So there is no one who needs saving? No one needs saving? Me! I need it! How do you expect me to cope with these horrible prickly plants? No spell can get rid of them. They grow wherever they like and it's ruined my whole garden. Oh, if only someone could get rid of them for a poor old lady. It would be a very good deed indeed. Will you help me? Uh-huh. Huh? What are you doing? Huh? I've been growing those weeds all year. <laughs> it's the roses you need to pull out. Roses. What? Yes. Just look at them! They're ruining my whole weed garden! <gasps> and speed it up a bit. Time's getting on. It's nearly sunset. Nearly sunset? We're out of time! Oh, not a single proper good deed all day. Rooney, look! <gasps> <laughs> I see that today was a day for good deeds. In fact, 
quite a few good deeds. You must have been working hard. <laughs> we didn't do anything special, though. We did the dishes in the kitchen. And then moved nuts for squirrels. Yeah, and we weeded a garden, sort of. You think that's nothing special? Look, see? Your work in the kitchen allowed the owl to come assist me. Together, we found some valuable old instructions that the Magical Council long believed to be lost. And because all the squirrels were able to fortify themselves with the giant nuts, the Squirrel Express ran at full speed and delivered the instructions to all the wizards. And now, with these in hand, the Council can create new enchantments. They helped the Magical Council? That's pretty cool. And you helped me. Well, the heart. Its foot hurt, you see. It's so lazy. In short, I made an ointment from the weeds. The ones you pulled today. And these are for you. Because I've never liked them. Can't stand the color. There, you see? Even the smallest good deed can have a big impact on someone, somewhere. And they say that those thoughtful people who do good deeds have... <gasps> a heart of gold! A golden chest. I'm gonna get it this time. Watch! You almost did it. El Guerrero never would have missed the target. You should see all the cool things he does with boomerangs. I doubt he's missed a target before. Throwing with two hands at once, a hundred a minute. In other words, he has wicked talent. I don't have talent. Nor do I. Everything Belle the Artist draws comes to life. Even elephants and dragons. And here I can't even get a bird right. See, fly, go on, little bird! <sighs> Either of you guys see a protection field? Mm, no. So the potion didn't work. Again, another flask ruined. I wish I could nail these on the first attempt, like Silverstina Bubble Pots does. The first attempt? There's no way our favorite wizards had it that easy way back when they were our age. I wonder if there's some kind of secret to their talent. Hmm. I found it! See here. There's an interview with Guerrero, which says only that the secret to his talent is in... his golden chest? I don't believe it! Now the artist's secret is also in a chest! Silvestina has a chest too! The book doesn't tell you what's in the chest, only that they're in a museum in the Wonder Mountains. But that's clear across Wondermont. Yeah, I'd forgotten how far that is. Two days on foot. It'd take two days on foot, but on a dragon, just one afternoon. Thank you so much for agreeing to take us, Miss Dragon. If you want to fame this wizard's talent, I'm guessing you've got to just go sit on their golden chest uh, for a couple days. And to get really talented a couple of weeks. No, I don't think it's about sitting on the chest or anything. I think you just have to take whatever's stored in it. I'll find out what's in Silvestina's chest, and I'll brew the most powerful protective potion ever! What's this I hear? A chest with Silvestina's talent? Hmm, with her talent, I could mix up a potion to bewitch the whole of Wondermont, including the school principal. <laughs> I think I'm more talented already. I think the chests we need are inside. Anybody here? We're here to look at the chests. That's weird. There's not even an echo. Maybe they've gone to lunch? <gasps> so many chests. We'd better hurry if we want to find the ones we need before dark. This one was Firewing the 39th! Oh, look! The Invisible Princess! The Fluttering Master! Oh, wow! The Sun Knight's chest! Every famous wizard had a golden chest. That's so cool! Why weren't we given one? Maybe you get one when you graduate. I doubt it. The Sun Knight didn't even go to school, did he? He went straight out questing. <laughs> El Guerrero's chest! El the Artist's chest! Silvestina's chest! Oh, Baba Yaga! Hi there! <laughs> Banana fling! Huh? How's that bear getting here? 
I'm not messing with that. So long. Returning potion. <laughs> Looks like they're all back in their places. Every huh? single one. Thank you for saving our exhibit. I'm the Echo of the Wonder Mountain, and I'm also the guide at this museum. Now tell me which talented wizard is such a good shot with a boomerang? I'm Vasco, but I'm not talented at all. That was just a banana fling throw. That's how I used to knock bananas off the trees back home. <laughs> hmm. And the young creator of living pictures? Oh, I'm Helen. But that wasn't talent. No matter what animal I draw, a living bear is all I can do. <laughs> and the brave potions, master? Daria, ma'am. I'm not anywhere near being a real master, though. Returning potions are all I can manage. I fail at everything else. Did you know that even the most famous wizards in history got a lot of things wrong when they first started out? <sighs> but they practiced again and again. And each of them put all their unsuccessful attempts in a chest. And then one day, when the chests were full... They turned gold, didn't they? So, the chests won't make us more talented? Theirs won't, no. However, your own chest will help you very much indeed. <gasps> a chest! Practice, practice. Put your unsuccessful attempts in your chest. And one glorious day, your chest will turn gold. Because those who work hard... I'm gonna try again. And don't give up. We'll get there in the end. The Six-Legged Beast As in tales of ages past, everyone heals at last. No pain, not monster, nor bird. Heal it now, with my word. Oh, Helen, that spell is from a fairy tale. I doubt it will... Wow, we've worked! They're going to write about us in the Hero News! And you had doubts? Well, some stories are based on reality. All right, Chubby, fly! I will visit you soon, I promise. Why don't we go together? After all, it's not safe to wander the woods alone. But we've already studied who lives in the woods, like badgers and other animals, such as birds. The only scary one there is Baba Yaga! <laughs> Still. I'm still! Now you can save me! From a reliable... <clears throat> from a not-so-reliable source, we have been recently informed of an incident. It appears that in the woods there may be... A monster with huge teeth that roars! Ooh! And three? Four? Maybe six legs? Six legs? Not six! Perhaps eight! Maybe more! In order to protect our students, and Baba Yaga, we have placed highly effective protection traps within the forest to, well, trap, we hope, to capture the... The hundred-legged beast? The cause of this commotion. Mr. Immortal and I shall go to the forest to examine and confirm this recent phenomenon. Or to prove it wrong. Us too! Take us too! Watch out, thousand-legged monster! My dear future heroes, don't even think about it. To keep you all safe and inside, we will be placing a new spell on the windows and doors to keep them locked. Today's class shall be rescheduled to next Tuesday. Now then, where is that special rag of ours? The one that erases spells. Mm. Why did they leave all of us behind? Yeah. We'd have shown it a thing or two. I think it might be crying for help. You're right. The hungry monster wants us to help by being dinner. Not at all. Six-legged beasts are quite gentle. It might be in trouble. We have to help it. Helen, we've never studied six-legged beasts before. As far as we know, they only exist in fairy tales. So it's best to stay inside, away from the roaring. Chappy! No one believes me, but we have to help the six-legged beast. 
The professor uses this rug to erase spells from the blackboard. I'm sure it will also work on the locking spell. Thank you, Chappy. Brave men of Wondermont, forward! <laughs> and brave women, too. Hey, it's open. <gasps> Helen, she escaped. Oh, no way. We have to go save her. And if we capture the monster, that's two heroic deeds. Yeah, so this is where that draft was coming from. It's fixed. No need to thank me. Just remember that I saved your lives, or you'd be in big trouble. According to the book I read, the six-legged beasts are very friendly and gentle. They only roll when they're in trouble. But where is it? Oh! I found it! Oh, you have a splinter. Let me help you. Please don't be scared, dear Six Paws. There, there. This will be quick, okay? Helen! Hey, monster! Release her! I, Vasco of El Dorado, challenge you to battle! Oh, no! Please stop! Wait, don't go! What about our heroic rescue? Hmm. We've already checked most of the traps. So far, the only thing that we've caught is Baba Yaga's hut. Yes. I haven't found anything yet either. I am beginning to suspect that we may be the only ones here. Aside from the local fauna, did Baba Yaga make it up? Ah! Huh? Helen, hold on! Let Helen go, or you'll be sorry! Ah! Got him! Now that we've caught him, our names will be in here. Ah! Tales of ages past, everyone heals at last. No pain, not monster, nor bird. Heal it now with my word. Quickly, Professor. Helen fell in the pit. And so did the monster we defeated? Maybe? No. He's no monster. He's a sweet six paws. Phenomenal. But we must count his legs to be certain. Four, five, and six. Clockwise, there are six. And... My, counterclockwise as well. It is most certainly an authentic Icelandish Hexapaurus. That's exactly right, Professor. An extremely rare beast and absolutely harmless creature. <laughs> In fact, they are so timid that nobody has ever tamed one before. I'll come visit you sometime. <gasps> it should be impossible, yet somehow Helen has tamed it. That is the power of her kindness. It makes the impossible possible. Your kindness truly knows no bounds. <laughs> I think that I will stay here. Or then you'll have even more chances to show me how kind and hospitable you are. Oh, Virtually impossible. I'm trapped in here. Please help me. Won't somebody please get me out of here? There. This will work well. These bars should hold fine. Good. Cut. Rewind. Show it to me. Playback. Please help me. Won't somebody please get me Freeze out of it. here? Freeze it. This looks better than I'd hoped. You can turn it off now. All right. Let's see what the school schedule looks like. Ah, good. The magical task generator. Tuesday at 12.45. What is today? Uh... It's Monday. <laughs> we'll put the girls in our new cell, then make a film and send it to the immortal. The captives will beg him to rescue them. They'll be horrified. I'll have him doing whatever I want. After all, I deserve to be the deputy principal. These books hold the wisdom of generations of wizards. And all you're kicking them about is disrespectful. My kicking them about is the concentration and release of miraculous energy. Yes! <laughs> all right, girls. That's enough. You know you're wrong. No, I'm not. Right. Girls, no need to argue. Princesses. This is a most ancient of philosophical questions. Which is better? Knowledge or harnessing magical energy? For the true wizard, knowledge. It's obvious. Obviously. Your books are boring. Ladies. Sorry, Professor. Now then, regarding today's lesson, your lab project will be provided by the magical task generator. 
And the assignment will go to Rooney and Dari. It's a great opportunity for you to resolve your creative dispute. Now then, go to the oak tree. I'll make an entrance to the virtual reality there. You will show me what each of you is capable of. Hmm. Just two princesses? I won't be made deputy principal for that. At best, chemistry teacher. Fine, I'll cook something up. He's finally leaving. Hey, are you sleeping? Come here. Give me your claw. Bubble bottle flask. Change Professor Cat's intended task. Hmm. <laughs> now we're hacking, eh? <laughs> Let's go. It seems rather strange. Afraid of losing? <sighs> what a gloomy place. For this experiment, that's what you need. Yes! Oh. Want to give it a try? Yes, but my way. How, I wonder? Just a second. Yes, this one. Bind us and wind us. <gasps> Well, not too bad. They broke my beautiful bars! Just you wait, brats! Hey, Falcon, Falcon, it's Eagle. Erase that footage. The professor could have given us a harder task. It's like kid stuff. More like baby stuff. I don't get it. Cool. Huh? This virtual Baba Yaga looks like the real thing. I am the real thing. Oh, cool. It can talk, too. <laughs> <laughs> Look how daring you've become! Doria, chop the spell, quick! <laughs> What's wrong? Has the cat got your tongue? <laughs> no, it shrinks back just as tight. <laughs> Can't fix it with your... Yeah. I'm in charge now. Professor? Someone tampered with the settings of my assignment and I can't log into my account. Allow me. Yes, I see. It must be Baba Yaga. Oh, the princesses need us. Hurry! And girls, you are not to leave. Get your camera ready. I'm going to give them a fright. Hey, stop crying. Beg me to set you free at once. <gasps> what? I should try your spell? How did that spell go again? Something like brined onion or a... Uh... Ah, bind us on this. <laughs> bind us and bind us? Why aren't you girls afraid of me? Hey, you! <laughs> bind us and wind us! <laughs> hey, Hot! Stop recording! You cursed little bookworms! <laughs> Doria, stop her! Take a deep breath and feel the energy, then push the energy out! <laughs> you can't do it! Don't try if you don't know how! Concentrate! It's only you, your intentions, and your power! <laughs> we did it! We passed the level! Doria! Rudy! Right Is everything okay? Professor, what could possibly go wrong? This was a simulation. Everything is just fine. A brilliant lesson. A perfect Papa Yaga copy. A simulation? A copy? But girls, everything that happened was real. Real? Real? Yes. Now, what about your philosophical question? Answered. We learned that a wizard needs both books and power. Now I'll take magical gym class more seriously. And I have spells to study. They can be pretty useful. <laughs> <laughs> Tired and tested. Tomorrow, I will be giving a lesson on the three-headed dragon. We'll study its head and the way it flies and breathes fire. <gasps> three-headed dragons. Awesome. Cool. Mm -hmm. The topic's complex, so tomorrow you need to be attentive as well as involved. After all, the director will be watching us. The director will watch us. Ah, the immortal, huh? Then I'll make sure he remembers it.
dream. The sun is up. Time for class. Get up, girls. Oh, wait a minute. Where is everyone? We have to hurry. The sooner we start, the more we'll learn about dragons. Good, Good morning, morning, Mr. Immortal. Good morning to you, girls. Hmm. What fine enthusiasm. <gasps> oh, girls. A good lesson this morning. Uh, I mean, let's begin now. You're going to do just fine. Don't worry. I've dreamed of seeing one of these my whole life. Uh, I'm afraid at stage one, Rooney, we only study how to fly dragons using miniature copies. What? When do we use real ones? Rooney, we're only at stage one. Please be patient. We use miniature copies to ensure that everyone remains safe. Mm, yes, safety. That's right. Let's start with just one dragon. The recipe's easy enough. Two drops of flame plant juice, along with moonlight dew, combine and mix well. But no more than one drop, or else you... <gasps> oh, no! No need to panic. Just a small recipe mistake. <laughs> That's right. Remain calm. Sweet and obedient creatures. Uh, oh, these creatures are rather annoying. They're more like dragon flies. Yes, a regrettable error, but reversible. Uh, oh no, Mr. Immortal. I'll do it. Tornado. Uh, everything's under control. Oh. oh no, good heavens. I'm so sorry, sir. Oh, oh my, what is going on? Marlene. These are impressive special effects. However, it hasn't been the most successful lesson. To be honest, it hasn't been successful at all. I can see that you tried, but it is difficult material. Hmm. Professor, I wonder, would you teach the lesson? Aren't these dragons your specialty, sir? May I please try one more time tomorrow, sir? You see, I... I didn't sleep last night. I had nightmares all night long. Please. No, he's not going to let her. But what if he does, and she has another hard night? And then what? If she doesn't sleep well again, things could get even worse. <sighs> oh dear, poor Marlene. Oh, she's restless. Looks like she's having nightmares again. I know. Let's help her sleep tonight. How? We can make her some good dreams so she can rest. Just a moment. Let me find the right frequency. Yes, I think I caught her dream. I knew it would work. Let's go. What's the hat for? It's a special dream mixing hat. Basically, it transmits dreams. Think of a good dream, and I'll go to sleep. Then I'll transmit the dream to Marlene. Okay, we're inside her dream now. <gasps> it looks dreadfully bloomy. Yes, no wonder she can't sleep. I'll make the first dream for her. Everything must be bright and colorful, with lots of pretty gowns and music to dance to. Look very happy anymore. I've got it. We'll add some sheep. Oh dear, it didn't work. Oh no, this is frightening. That's it. I'm going to enter her dream now. What is this? You're the one ruining our dreams. Uh -huh. Now I've got you. Little wrecker of dreams, fly far away and take your nightmares with you. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Good morning. You look wonderfully well rested. Oh, why, thank you, sir. I finally feel well rested. So now, the three-headed dragon lesson should go perfectly well. 
Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, oh. 